I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this hangman, and it's paired with the Six of Swords. Now, the hangman, it shows that you're at a crossroads. One with only two options. In, and out, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could have found yourself wanting to do something, but you had no idea what it was or how to do it. So if this happens, it's probably a sign that you should stop, relax, and take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things, or things. Because it's possible that there could have been an outdated attitude or a wish that you needed to let go of. Just know that any sacrifice that you make, it would have opened up your life to something even more positive than what you were letting go of. So overall, this would have been a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you were willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing, willing to change. Now, do the Six of Swords, which can indicate some type of movement. Could be a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. Yeah, with, with the Six of Swords, it's showing in the picture that there could be a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery, it will be helpful. And just know this doesn't have to cost money. So basically, Leo, for you and your person, the recent past energy, hangman clarified by the Six of Swords. So what I'm, what I'm getting is that uh, there was something that happened in the connection with you and your person, with you and your person, that left you confused, not sure about things. Not maybe not maybe not sure about the per your person. You weren't sure in in or out, up or down, yes or no. You didn't know you were confused. Maybe you found out something. Yeah, maybe something came to light and it just left you stuck in your head. So it looks like your person might have um, reached out to you and uh, wanted to try to resolve things, come to some type of resolution. Or maybe you reach out to them. You just didn't want any more conflict. You didn't want any more confusion. Because if you take a look at the Six of Swords, it's the card below the word pass. You see these two people, they're in a boat or a canoe, I don't know what that is, but it looks like they just got out of raging waters. There was some big storm that they just came out of. Now the waters are still, and they're just moving into calmer waters. Now if you, if you take a good look at the, the two people there, they're not facing each other. They're not talking. He's looking up and, f and onward, and she's looking at some project that she's got going on for the week.
coming ahead. So there's nothing romantic here. No. Um, they're just trying to move, move to calmer waters and making peace. They don't want drama. They don't want conflict. They don't want fighting. And definitely, they don't want any more confusion. And you don't want that. So somebody reached out and decided it's time to just make peace. Maybe this was you. Maybe it was your person. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Page of Wands, and it's with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Wands, they can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, if this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands, wands it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So with this easy distraction, you have to try to stay focused. Could be some things that you started some time ago. They're starting to come to fruition. It can show a need for new things, new adventures, new ideas, new approaches. The page brings a positive energy. But the thing is that you have to supply the follow-through because of this energy of easy distraction and not being able to stay focused. So it's with this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you could be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't, provided you do not take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight, maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's a time period when you can, you can get a whole lot accomplished. So coming up. For you and your person, Leo. Page of Wands clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like your person could be reaching out to you. Because this Page of Wands is about messages coming in. Messages of love and affection. Whoever this person is, they've got a lot of passion. Passion uh, for you. A whole lot of passion. <clears throat> You get this person really excited. <laughs> but it looks like you, know, you just kind of want to fall back. Maybe you're finally coming unstuck. Or maybe you're coming, finally getting out of your head from being stuck in your head. Because this hangman is about confusion. So you just want some time, maybe... Like she's doing, this lady, the Queen of Pentacles, it's a card with another bird, bird present. Yeah, you just want to go in your backyard, sit in your lounge chair, have your toe, have your um, your dog, keep your toes warm, and feed the squirrels and the birds, and take pleasure that you've got some money in the bank. That's a huge pinnacle that she's cuddling. You hear the word pinnacles in the tarot? That actually means money cash, coins, finance, income. So you just want to be grateful that maybe you and this person is at peace for once and the confusion is is dis dissipating. It's going away. But your person, they want to, it looks like they want to be with you. They'll be reaching, re reaching out to you with a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands is about passion. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the challenge. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Now, the King of Pentacles, it speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. When this card appears, it's a sign that <clears throat> it's, a <clears throat> it's a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick. Not the time to be a maverick, but it's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. He could have dark hair, dark eyes. Um, but it could go either way. 
if it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is this is one, this is a person that you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now it's with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a clear signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When this card comes up to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you'll have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes and another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust, trust in the universe. So Leo, your challenge, King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Swords. So yeah, like I said, your person, they, they'll be reaching out to you if they haven't already with messages of love. They want to get next to you. They want to be with you. And you just kind of like, you kind of like feeling, feeling like falling back. This person, they have, um, uh, they want to have success with you. King of Pentacles is about success. This person wants to, wants the connection to keep going. Yeah. If it seems like you two have, you will be, or you have made peace. By moving into karma waters or attempting to do so, this person still they're still in it to win it. But you could you could be feeling that you do not trust that the situation, you do not trust the connection will be stable. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the star card ends with the five of cups. Now, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. You'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You could feel confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial or both. They're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted. It is unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Unlikely. This is also a spiritual card, so you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all creation. So savor it. It's not a common, common feeling. It's not. Now, it's with this Five of Cups, which is a card, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life, it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives. And how well they work for us. So you could find yourself. What are you going to choose to focus on? Because the impl implication is probably clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? <laughs> or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? Now what I'm trying to say is that you have to watch where you put your focus. Make sure your focus is for your highest good. So the outcome for, for you, Leo, star card and five of cups. Okay, so, yeah, well, with this five of cups, uh, there's some disappointment here. Yeah, your person, um, I'm picking up that they feel that you're just, you're not all in it like you used to be. You see that you're not jumping when they reach out to you with messages of love. They feel that you do not trust the connection anymore. Don't know what happened, but whatever happened, it left you confused about your person, about the connection. Um, so your person is disappointed. The Five of Cups is about disappointment. And... Five of Cups can also be about missing someone. So, they're missing you. They're disappointed. They, they're they hoping that you will focus on the positive. And not the negative. But it looks like you could be going into... Wanting to feel... Rejuvenated. The Star card is about rejuvenation. Being hopeful, having faith, getting some inner clarity, 
Re renewal. It's about hope. So you're just looking to feel fabulous again. Yeah. Being stuck in your head like that, that was probably, it probably took a toll on you. Yeah. So now that, you know, your person is kind of like at peace with each other. No more fighting or bickering. You just you kind of want to stay there. You don't want to go back down that road again. With the same person. Yeah. So, they're disappointed that you're not responding back with messages of love. They're hoping you focus on the positive. And it looks like you are. And it's, and it's all about yourself. Yeah. Finding, in, finding inner peace. And just trying to stay there. Stay rejuvenated. And letting any grief of the past be gone. So, that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there and it will pass and we will all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with uh, love interests, your person in the reading could actually be a friend. They could be a family member or a situation. And I kind of get the feeling with this reading, it, it was intended to be a love reading, but it's, I'm getting that a lot of you will find it to be a, a situation or a, a family member or a friend. Yeah, because it, it didn't get, uh, I'm just, that's just what I'm, that's just the energy I'm getting. Most of you will not find this reading to be a love reading. Yeah, it'll be a situation or a friend. Or are you and a family member? So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So you have to take them for however it resonates. So Leo, I can never say enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.